and we are live it is Thursday you guys we're still in isolation um, again before you even start I want to show you that I am keeping track of your homework this is what I have and those are gonna go in the grade book tomorrow so hopefully you guys have been doing your homework you can have a good grade um, that's gonna help a lot if you aren't doing your homework then you have a bad grade okay um, so what I want to do today is this I want to do a review for chapter 5 test and then I will show you chapter 5 test and I'll have you work on chapter 5 test as your homework um, show that to me tomorrow I'm looking for work and then believe it or not I'm going to show you the answers tomorrow so that you can fix your test and then everybody should have 100% but you have to show you have to show work you must show work if all I see is answers then you're not going to get any credit for that problem, okay? So real quick, here's what chapter 5 looked like, okay? Here's my chapter review. And I have problem number 1. Um, I'm just going to use the addition or elimination method. So um, I don't know if I have room for this, so I'm going to do it on a separate paper. So number 1, it looks like this. I have a negative 6x plus a 5y equals 1 and a positive 6x plus 4y equals negative 10. I like this problem. It's super easy because the X's are going to cancel. Um, again, if I can go on too fast, you guys can always pause this and rewatch it. But I want to get this done so that way I don't waste any more of your time. So if I add straight down, I like that because these are opposite. So I get a 9Y. Those are gone. I get a 9Y equals a negative 9. Divide by 9. Divide by 9. And I get Y equals negative 1. Okay, so then I can take my negative 1. And I can plug that negative one into either equation. I kind of like the second one because there's not as many negatives. So instead of writing a 6x plus a 4y equals negative 10, I'll put my negative one in there for my y. And I'll rewrite this as a 6x plus a 4 times a negative one equals negative 10. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and simplify that. I'm going to have a 6x minus 4 equals negative 10 plus 4 plus 4. 6x equals negative 6. Divide by 6, x equals negative 1. Okay, kind of fast, but pause it if you need to, okay? So both answers are negative 1, negative 1. So that is my answer. Notice all the work I showed? Isn't that awesome? No work, no credit, right? Okay, number 2 <coughs> looks like this. And again, if you want to pause it, you can. Number 2 has an x plus a 2y equals negative 2 and a y equals an x minus 4. This one I'll do by substitution because I know what y is. So instead of writing y over here, I will write in its place what y is, and that is an x minus 4. The original problem looked like this, but I automatically just wrote them side by side to have more room. Um, x plus 2, but not what y, but what y equals, which is my x minus 4 equals negative 2, and I'm just going to solve for x. I will distribute x plus 2x minus 8 equals negative 2, 3x minus 8 equals negative 2, plus 8, plus 8, 3x equals 6, divide by 3x is 2. Okay, that's one answer. Let's put that x equals 2 right there, because I'm going to substitute again. y equals a 2 minus 4, or y equals a negative 2. Okay, so now my answer. In alphabetical order, x always goes first, x, y, 2, comma, negative 2. Okay. All right, again, I'm going too fast. Just pause it, go from there, okay? All right, I'm gonna move my, see, I'm showing my work. Wow, it's awesome, that's awesome, what I expect. I want you to show your work. Um, number three, I have a negative seven X minus two Y equals negative 13 with a X minus two Y equals 11. Okay, now, Nothing is quite the opposite, but if I multiply this equation by negative 1, that'll make a positive 2y. Negative, negative, positive, and then those will be opposite. I multiply it all the way through. So, equation 1, I'm going to rewrite. Negative 7x 
minus 2y equals 13, and I'll multiply it all the way through, negative 1x, positive 2y equals negative 11, okay? Again, if I'm going too fast, just pause it. Um, these cancel, I like that. I get a negative 8x equals a 2. Divide, divide by negative 8. Divide by negative 8, and I get a negative 1 fourth. As decimal, that's going to be a negative 0 0.25, which is easy to substitute if you have a calculator, which we do. Um, let's see, probably put in this one because I don't like the 7 there. So if I were to put it into any x, I'm going to put it into that one right there. Looks like the easier one to put it into. I can put it into either, but I like that one. So instead of x minus 2y equals 11, I'm going to put the negative 0 0.025. Negative 0 0.025, oh, put the decimal part in the wrong place. 0.25 minus 2y equals 11, plus 0.25, plus 0.25, and I'm going to get then, oh, I made a mistake and nobody said anything. Uh oh, uh oh, that'd be a negative 26. Oh, negative 24. Oh, I did make a mistake, you guys. Well, darn it, that's a negative 3. No, I thought those were bad answers. X equals a negative 3. Sorry, my bad. I did make a mistake. So it happens when you when you go too fast. Put the negative 3 there. So then I've got a negative 3 minus 2y equals an 11. Plus 3, plus 3. Negative 2y equals 14. Divide by negative 2. 2 and y equals negative 7. So sorry about the mistake. I forgot to write a negative. I forgot to see this negative 13 here. That's what I forgot to write was negative there. Which gives me a different answer, doesn't it? Okay. So sorry. I'm glad I caught that. Okay, and then 4. I may not do all of 4. I just want to show it. 5x plus y equals negative 3. And 3x minus 8y equals 24. I would probably multiply this equation, the first one, by positive 8. And if I do multiply it by positive 8, that's going to change that. Um, I'll let you do this, but if I rewrite this one, I'm going to get a negative 40x plus an 8y equals a negative 24 with a 3x minus an 8y equals a 24. And then you can add, and the y's will drop that. Okay, I'll let you do that one, okay? Just so you know, okay? All right, number five. I'm not gonna do all of these. Here's five and six. I will probably do five, and you guys can do six, okay? All right, five. Five is just a graph. Y is less than a one-half x minus two. So if I have to graph it, I know I'm gonna shade it. Okay, I need to get out my ruler. Okay, my ruler goes like that. And that, I'm gonna start at negative two. And I'm gonna go up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, over two, up one, over two. Um, yeah, there's no equal sign here, so it's got to be dashed. Does not equal line. And it says less than, so it's everything below the line, so I'm going to shade. Everything below the line, so I'm just going to shade. Like that. Okay. All right. Number six. It's very familiar. Okay, grab that one and shade above the line, okay? Now, this must be number seven and eight. Tell whether each ordered pair... So there's two ways to do it. I think the easiest way to actually is to graph it and see if they're in there. So I'll show seven and eight real quickly. I've got a seven and eight. I have a y is greater than or equal to x plus one. And is the point three, five a part of that? Well, but the five there, actually let's just plug, plug the five in for y. Plug the three in for x, and yes, that's true, because five is greater than one. And eight works the same way. We're gonna plug in negative two, zero. 
Um, and it looks like you get zero. No, zero is not less than negative four, so that's probably not true. Okay, nine. Do nine together. Graph the system, so you need to graph both. Okay. So a nine, we're going to do that. We're going to have a y is less than a 3x minus 4, with a y is greater than or equal to a negative 1 half x plus 3. OK. And to graph this, I'll do the first one in green. I'll start at negative 4. It's a dashed line, a slope of 3 or 3 over 1. So I'll start at negative 4, I'll go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. Again, if it's going too fast, I'm trying to get this done, just pause it. Less than is everything below the line, like that. And the other one, let's see what color I have. I've got a red here. Do this one red, start to pause with 3, go down 1, over 2, down 1, over 2. Okay. And it's a solid line because it has a little equal sign there. Solid line equals line. Okay. And everything greater than is shade above the line. Where the two overlap is just in this region right there. And that's the region I'm going to make darker than all the rest because that's where all the solutions are. All right. All right, let's take a look at 10. Okay. So 10, um, I would multiply this one by a 3, and I think you'll get no solution. But let you do that, but if you multiply by 3, um, they become the exact same line. They really do. Almost parallel. I maybe multiply by negative 3, because then everything will cancel. Um, number 11, I think I'd multiply this one by um, 2. I'm pretty sure these are the exact same equations, so I think we're going to get many. With this one, I think we're going to get none with this one. Okay, I'll let you work on that. Um, 12. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and just line 1. Y is, looks like it's going to be greater than or equal to, because here's everything above it. And it looks like it's uh, up 1 over 3. I think it's up 2 over 3. I see up 2. see the up 2 over 3. Up 2 over 3x plus 3. Line 2 looks like it's shading everything above it. So it's going to be a y is greater than, but not equal to, because see the dashed line, greater than. And the slope looks like it is, hmm, from there to... Maybe there, let's see. Down one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Um, down four over three x minus three. Okay, that would be the solution. Alright. Thirteen's easy, just solve. Um, plus x plus x. You guys can solve that. Now, all right, you get three x equals three, x equals one. Um, you don't need to graph it. Number 14, absolute value, you're going to have two, two answers. So you're going to have a 3x minus 4 equals x, and a 3x minus 4 equals a negative x. And you'll solve both those. Let's see, that's a 2x equals 4. I got x equals 2. Um, that's going to be a 4x equals 4x equals 1. So I'll let you do that, okay? And 15, I'll set you up on 15. Two, two students are going to store to buy school supplies for the new school year. One of the students buys two packs of pencils and three packs of pens, okay? So i got pencils. And i got pens. Okay. Two packs of pencils and three packs of pens. Okay. Um... For that price, her friend purchases five packs of pencils and two packs for that price. So you're going to have two equations. Um, and you should be able to figure out how much each costs by doing that. So you'll have equation one right here. 2x plus 3y equals that. And then you'll have an equation two. 5x plus 2y equals 11. 
and you should be able to then figure out what each costs. Okay, so I'll let you work on that. Now, for that test, okay, here it is. So, please do this. This is your homework, okay? So if you need to take a picture of this, if you need me to send you a picture of this, I can do that. Um, here's question one. Y equal, see you've got a 3x plus y equals negative 9, and y equals a 5x plus 7. There's number 2, there's 3, there's 4, there's 5, which you'll have to do on your own separate graph paper, 5 and 6. Okay. Here's question 7, looks like this. Okay. Is this a solution to that system? And is this a solution to that system? 9, you're going to graph. Graph and shade, graph and shade. 10, tell me whether there's one solution, many solutions, or no solutions. Same thing with 11. 12, I want you to come up with the equations. 13, just solve for x, that's pretty easy. 14, solve for x, that's pretty easy. 15, here's your story problem with, so pencils and pens, it's throw blankets, and then you're going to have blankets with your name on them. Okay, you got to come up with the cost of blanket, so you're going to buy one blanket, but then you got to put lettering on it. Here's your cost, and there's your friend's cost. Okay, here's the extra credit if you want to give it a try. If you'd like a text copy of this, then I'm happy to send it. Okay, no word, no credit. Now, here's the thing. Really important, okay? You listening? Hopefully you are. So, do this test. Let me see your work. And then, tomorrow, I will show you the answers. And I want you to correct it. So it's kind of like your retake. So everybody should get an A because I'm going to show you the answers to the test. But you must show work, okay? So today, work on the test. Tomorrow, I'll give you the answer to the test. And I want you to then do your correction. Okay, well, um, get going on that. Should be no problem because I'm going to give you the answers tomorrow, okay? But no work, no credit.